So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. Welcome everybody, it's Dan. I hope you're well today. So we've not been live in just ages, quite frankly. And I thought, you know what, let's go live again. My uh, my guy that does podcasts keeps telling me off for not going live because we've not released a podcast since the 14th of December. And we were just really knocking them out of the park one a day. And then it's just slowly, <laughs> as we've got busier taking on more clients, really, our ability to podcast and the time available to do it is just really reduced. And so we've got to, we've got to find a way of improving that. And I'm like, OK, let's let's get a few more lives. So we bought a little ring light next to the desk. We're on the desk. I don't have to go outside. I don't have to whiteboard. I don't have to go into the studio. I don't have to do any of that stuff. Um, it's just you and me having a little chat about marketing, which means that my uh, podcast guy doesn't have to tell me off. Now, if you've got a question about marketing, about sales funnels, about websites, if you want me to take a look at your website, we'll even um, give a review on it. We'll, we'll line it up ready for the next one. Uh, but let's just talk about a couple of things that are happening in terms of people making mistakes in their marketing right now and really what you can do to fix them. Um, if you look down below, there is a free guide uh, that covers this in a lot more detail. You can always sign up for that. It's completely free. Um, but uh, the biggest thing, really, it, is this kind of overall concept that people buy from people that, that they know. They buy from people that they like, generally. And they buy from people that they trust. And so what you've got to do as a business owner in order to make the sale easier is you've got to start breaking down some of these barriers to getting people to know who you are, what you're about, how you can help them and that kind of thing. Because the problem is people go, hey, buy my stuff. And first of all, people don't know who you are, so they don't trust you. And then it's too salesy. So Gary Vaynerchuk wrote his book. It was called Jab, 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 Hook. uh, And that refers to um, giving value, giving value, giving value, and then ask for a sale. And I love that as as advice. I think it's wonderful advice. And that's exactly how we run our business, too. And so the way in which we do it, we would go live, such as this, for example, and then we take that live and we take the audio and we would convert that into a podcast. And that would go out on iTunes and LinkedIn and YouTube again. Uh, and whilst we do that, we use this live video and that goes out on every, everywhere as well, like Periscope on Twitter. We'll type the recording. We'll upload it to LinkedIn because uh, we can't go live on LinkedIn. And so what we're doing is we're building up uh, rapport with people so they get to see who we are and what we do. Because I've done a couple of things in my life. So I've built a multi-million pound property portfolio. I've been known as a property coach for an awful long time, decided to stop doing that because I was uncomfortable with the way in which certain people was running their coaching businesses, charging a huge amount of money and not giving value. You, you'll know who I'm talking about there, possibly. And so we had to change kind of what I was known for uh, in terms of uh, property, and we moved it over to marketing because that's my digital marketing agency. And actually, it's worked very well because now people know that that's what we do. We, we help people generate leads and generate clients, right? But not not only generate leads and clients, but in order to get there, we help people produce content. And again, we're back to this full circle of you've got to produce content. The reason you produce content is because people need to know you, they need to like you, and they need to trust you. And going live like this, like I treat lives like this. I mean, I'm just sat in my hoodie. I'm at my desk in my uh, home office. It's just you and I. We're just having a nice little chat. That's literally as much as you need to do. You don't need to go live with this, you know, slick production. You don't need a soundstage. Uh, Like literally I'm on my laptop. I'm on a USB Logitech camera and I've got a ring light here. Um, You know, a ring light, right? So, um, So you can actually see it, right? You don't have to go for all this fancy stuff, but you have to get to the stage in your business where people know who you are, they like you and they trust you. And before they can make a transaction, they have to know that you actually exist. And if people don't know you exist, you ain't selling to anybody. And so the mistake that I see people making time and time again, they run straight to Facebook ads. They have no idea how to run a Facebook ad. They have no idea how to write copy. They've got no assets, as we call them, video or or, um, image assets. They don't understand what a call to action is. And they try and sell directly off a Facebook page and then wonder why they blow through a thousand pound a month in their Facebook ad budget and they've got zero leads. That's not how you're supposed to do it. 
it, if it was that easy, everyone would do it and everybody does try it and then everybody fails. And it's because you're doing it wrong. And that's all right. You don't know what you don't know, just as we didn't know what we didn't know. People don't know what they don't know, right? No one's to blame for that. But before you run to Facebook ads, start putting out some content. Start getting people to the stage where they actually know who you are um, and are engaging in some way. And sometimes, and this is the big thing as well, they go, but Dan, I've, I've gone live and nobody watches and there's no engagement. And they go, so I'm not going to do it anymore. And I'm like, look, it's not just about engagement. It's not the live that will get you the engagement. It's what you do after you've gone live. So, for example, after this live, we will send it over to our podcast guy. Heck, we don't even have to send it. He's like chasing me for them. Right. So he'll know uh, when it goes live. OK. And then we take this this bit of a video and we'll convert it to a podcast and we'll send that out and then we'll take the video and we embed it on the website and and we send that out and so we're constantly posting out on social media so that people know who we are and what we do now you'll notice if you if you follow me on facebook you'll notice that we do it in a couple of different ways so we do the jab 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 hook which is the add value add value add value and then a sales thing and sometimes we get that balance a little bit off because we do lots of different things we've got a property sourcing training program which we sell you know lots of copies of every single month and so we have uh, videos or other marketing assets that go out that advertise that um we go live well not as often as we should but we should be going live a lot more often than we are and it's this mix this combination of ingredients so people get to know you people get to like you and get people will get to trust you and then the other thing that we do and you may notice this is we we actually do long form copy on my personal facebook page as well so long form copy is i just wrote one this morning about my uh my shortest job ever uh, which was working at PC World. I lasted like less than a day and a half. I, I left at 11 a.m. the second day. And I, I didn't even tell them. I just walked out and went home. Um, but we write long form copy, as that's known. And that actually gets quite a lot of engagement. Not everyone's got time to sit and watch a video. Thank you if you are watching. Not everybody will download the podcast. And so we've got only three mediums, right? I don't mean Doris Stoke, the lady who talks to the dead, not that kind of medium. We've only got three mediums. You've got video, you've got audio, and you've got the written word. That is the only way for you to disseminate information, right? When you go to university, you're sat there in your class, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to think what the auditorium is called. But anyway, you're sat in your class. And the guy's talking to you or the girl's talking to you. And so you've sat watching and you're listening, right? There's only two ways of doing it. And then you go read something. So you're either watching something, you're listening something, or you're reading something. So when we talk about your marketing mix, you've got to be putting out video content because people will sit and watch the video content. Now, the lives go for 20, 30 minutes. Not everybody's going to sit and watch a whole 20 or 30 minute live. And so the other thing you've got to do is little one or two minute snippets where you just film it into your camera. Like if, think about this. If every single time you got in your car, you got your camera, where's my phone? You got your camera and you said, hey, it's Dan. This is what we're doing right now. Blah, blah, blah. This is why we're doing this. We just help this client do this, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And that was one or two minute snippets. You're going to get a different type of audience watching that because people have only got one or two minutes available. Not everyone's got 28 minutes, 36 seconds to watch a live video from start to finish. Or they might be driving to well nowhere right now because well, uh, London's in tier four. Your borders are closed. Uh, it's crazy town uh, right now. But normally when you're driving um, and you're going somewhere, some people might listen to it on a podcast. You know, if you're driving Leeds to London or you're on a train or you're on a plane to Benidorm or wherever once planes start flying again, you're going to listen to podcasts. That's exactly what I do. Uh, I listen to Audible books, for example, or I listen to a podcast. But you've got to make your uh, content available in the different formats for people to actually listen to. Now, once you've done that, once you've built up enough content, then you need to start looking at your landing pages. I mean, actually, your landing pages should come before your content, but most people don't do that. But, you you know, what's the call to action? Where do you want people to go? Like, there's a call to action in this, which is just download that free guide. And no doubt, if I check email, we've probably had a couple of people. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, that have filled that in. 
Uh, there we go. We've got two. There you go. It's not bad. So, like, that's the call to action. Where do you want people to go? What do you want people to do? So you've got to create landing pages. You've got to create content. And then the content is going out to people who already know who you are. And that's a problem. So how do you solve that problem? How do you get to people who do not know who you are? And that's where Facebook ads comes in. But again, people get it wrong because we're going from a Facebook ad to buy my stuff. And that's not going to work. What you've got to do is from a Facebook ad, you've got to go, hey, I, I downloaded, I, I created a free guide. I've got a free training session. Come and join me for a workshop. I've got a free webinar. Then people come on the webinar, forget to know, like, and trust you. And then you can sell them the next stage. Right. And most people are too busy trying to sell the big thing instead of just simply selling the next stage. And we say this all the time. It's like dating. It's like imagine going on Match.com and then, you know, uh, matching with a, a person and then going, hey, brilliant. I'm going to call our kids Tarquin and Johnny. They're going to be five and uh, five years apart. Uh, you're going to be a nurse. I'm going to be. You know, Imagine a date like that where people are actually planning that. You'd run a mile, wouldn't you? It's because you're not selling the next step. The whole point of Match.com is to get a date or even a phone call or an email or connect on social media. Probably don't do that. But whatever it happens to be, you're selling the next step. You're not selling the whole the whole experience from start to finish to where they're giving birth in hospital. That's not how you do it. But that's what people are doing when it comes down to marketing their business and then they're wondering why this stuff doesn't work. Uh, so, look, if you've got any questions, uh, you can always come into the uh, private mastermind group. Um, the link for that is on my uh, Facebook profile. Come and find me. Or if you've got any questions, just stick them in the link down below. Uh, you can download the free guide, which is down below. If you've got any comments, so put your comment in as well. And uh, I will see them once this finishes and we can take it offline. Uh, other than that, have yourselves a good day and we'll catch up with you on the next one. My name is Dan Latter. Take care. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.